All right, YouTube, this is your boy Swamp again. Good to see you again on a day like today. We have recovered from this cold weather in Texas. And yesterday, got a chance to get out on the lake and catch a few crappie. Of course, if you don't know, this is a black crappie. A black crappie. All right. Also, we're going to reach in here and show you a white crappie. All right. This is a white crappie. You can see the lines are more vertical on a white crappie. Black crappie, really no lines. It's just all black, what the old people call freckles. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple things today. Um, the way I fillet my fish, what I like to do is actually uh, keep my fish on ice overnight. That way, you don't, that way you don't have to have any worry about blood all over the table and all that. It's kind of gross sometimes you have to deal with all that but long story short you keep them on ice they get cold the meat is still firm and we're gonna see if we can show you some fillets today all right so i'm filleting with a an american angler uh fillet knife um i do have the shark blades i really like this um my dogs are kind of hanging around if you can see them because they love to eat fish so when i get this fillet knife out and i bring a cooler then they'll they'll pretty much stay put so check us out as we do what we do. See if I can get this camera on this board so you all can see what's going on, all right? So this is the this is the white crappie. I always come behind the gill plate and I go down to the bone. Once I feel that backbone, I tickle that backbone all the way down and let the blade do the work as it comes down. Hopefully you can hear this, all right? Then I come down, I do not cut off the tail i let it stay just like that flip it over and i come down get the skin side off now this is not a fillet it still has the rib bones in it but we're gonna let that rest for a minute as we do the other side all right come down the other side behind the gill plate all the way to the backbone let the knife do the work come down the backbone stop do not cut it off, all right? Also, same thing, down the skin side. All right? There you go, all right? I put that in one bucket. If you're wondering why I have on one glove and not two gloves, I like to have my right hand, which is what I use for my blade, I like to have it actually on the on dry on the life itself i don't like wet hands on a knife all right it's a bad combination all right also um i use my left hand to do all my picking up my fish and handling of the fish that way when it's time to clean up you don't have all that smell you have to deal with all right so here we go again now i'm gonna show you how to truly make this fillet okay coming back down these are the rib bones come down the rib bones just like this cut it out all right now what i do is I come back behind the ribs. That's another good piece of fish. That's a piece of fish that you could actually use for fish tacos or something like that. Pretty cool. But what I normally do, because my dogs are so patient and they, they good to me all year, this is for my dogs, all right? So what I do is I just let them have a piece of that. And as you see, they're ready for it, all right? So we're gonna do the other thing, same thing to the other fillet, all right? I have my bucket for my fillets. I have a bucket for the carcass bucket for fillets bucket for the carcass all right so we can come down and do the same thing with this one okay coming down down that rear bone cut it out flip it over come out Boom. cut it get that to the dogs put that in the carcass bucket put that in that fillet bucket it's just as simple as that guys hopefully this help you all as you all try to start filleting um an electric knife is a great thing to have you can also do it with a manual knife it's all your preference i used to do i can do it with both i used to do it with both all the time but i'm just glad to be able to show you this hopefully this helps you 